Hey there guys and welcome to the first new LP of 2014, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. You voted for which character you wanted to see first and you said Kratos, so Kratos it is. Just gonna do a quick arcade playthrough because that's basically all there is to do. This entire city, destroyed by a god driven mad by jealousy, envy of his own son. Even now, they sit on their crumbling thrones and presume to judge their former puppet. While below, the titans I have summoned await me, ready to march on Olympus and correct so many of the mistakes of the past. But if I am to lead an army as mighty as the titans, I must prove my worth. There remain those who call themselves heroes. There is even talk of one who considers himself a god. Issuing challenges to all who would answer. Heed my words, mortals. Tread lightly on the earth. Beware the ghost of Sparta! Right, so first of all, what you're going to see here is not the complete playthrough. I did actually cut out some of the matches because the arcade playthrough consists of like five timed matches and then I think th two or three kill matches or score matches or whatever the hell they're called. But yeah, the timed matches are really not all that much fun to watch. So I just cut out all but one time match. And I'll keep all the score matches in because those are rather quick sometimes. But yeah, let's go. Kratos. It's rock and roll. Also, you have these creepy, chibified minion characters, which are kind of just there to cheer you on and do absolutely nothing else. Anyway, we're fighting in the Sly Cooper stage, Paris. I'm not exactly sure what Sly Cooper game that's based on, because I haven't actually played any of the Sly Cooper games yet. Opponents are Big Daddy from Bioshock, Radek from uh, Killzone, and Sackboy from Little Big Planet. And... The opponents will also randomly just have alternate costumes on and alternate colors and stuff. But what I'll be using for the playable characters is always their standard outfit, standard color scheme. Yeah. Uh, um, honestly, the green Radic really looks like Master Chief to me for some reason. Does anyone else uh, share that opinion? Ooh, picked up an item, the Medusa Head. Petrifies enemies and then you can kill him. Ah, damn it, Sackboy. Stole my... Well, he didn't steal my kill, but he did something else. He interrupted me. So, yeah. From looking at it, you'd think this is a Smash Brothers clone, more or less. It kinda is. I suppose it shares sort of a genre, like the platform fighter. But really, it's quite different. It's a lot more combo-based than Smash Brothers is. You can pull off some pretty long and intricate combos and just... Oh shit, Big Daddy got a double kill, that's not good. Basically, you can pull off some pretty flashy combos if you know how to do so. And, yeah, I should probably explain stuff quicker. You don't kill people by knocking them off platforms like in Smash Brothers. You kill them by killing them <coughs> with your super moves. There's level 1, level 2, and level 3. What I just did with Kratos is his level 3. The level 3s are pretty much the best there are. You can get a lot of kills with them. And basically, well, the more people you kill, the more points you get, the more points you get, the more likely it is for you to win. Pretty simple. Also, the only way to kill opponents is with the super moves. I am honestly not too fond of this system. I think Smash Brothers' system is a lot better. Ah, oh, shit, Big Daddy, he got me again. But simply because in Smash Brothers, every attack you land amounts to something. If you hit an opponent in Smash Brothers, his percentage will go up and it'll be easier to knock him out. In this game, if you hit enemies, your bar will go up. Oh! Ah, oh, goddammit, he got me again! I need to step up my game. Also, what the hell is that thing? I, that's one thing that's pretty interesting about the stages in this game. They're all kind of composed of two different franchises. So, like, kind of halfway through the match, the stage starts shifting. I think that's pretty cool. That's maybe something Smash Brothers could use. Then again, maybe not. It's really hit or miss. Some stage matchups are really well 
done and some others are just they don't match up at all anyway uh, we have 16 seconds left on the clock here Radix going for his level 1 my level 1 kills him first because he takes way too long aiming his attack and five. Oh, nice snatch another quick kill in because I don't want that big daddy bastard to beat me all right Rannick loses, Sackboy loses, Big Daddy loses and isn't even there. Kratos wins. Nice. 11 kills. Huh. I thought I was kind of losing there, but apparently not at all. Alright, up next is a kill match. Sly Cooper, who looks like an Arab for some reason. Nariko from Heavenly Sword and Yugi Moto. Wait, what? Oh, Spike from uh, Ape Escape. A game series I've never heard of, never played a game of. Apparently, it's pretty much dead. Well, I don't think it's dead in Japan, actually. I think in Japan, it still gets games. Also, on the Ape Escape stage. I don't know what kind of games Ape Escape games are. I think maybe some sort of 3D platformers where you have to catch monkeys or something, I think. Well, the black looks kind of good on Noriko. Alright, let's go. Kill match, no timer, you just have to be the first to three kills, and then you win. So there are a couple different tactics you could employ in a match like this. You could just go for quick level one kills, or you could try and save up for a level three, which is a lot easier to get three kills with. So as you can see, I have my level one ready right now, but Kratos' level one isn't particularly good. So I'll probably just be better off waiting to, for level 2, which can definitely get multiple kills, like so. Level 2 is the big tornado move he does. Whenever you get the Blade of Olympus and you use magic in, I think, God of War 3. But yeah, I should really talk more about the character. Kratos is probably one of the best characters in the game because just look at his moves. He has insane range on most of his attacks, he's pretty fast. And I just won. Aww, Spike's sad. But yeah, Kratos is definitely one of the most broken characters in the game. There's really no downsides to using Kratos. The only real problem he has is that he doesn't really have any good projectile options. Because really all he has for that is the bow of Apollo and that kind of sucks. Because you can shoot arrows out pretty fast, but... The, they don't even flinch the enemies unless you charge the arrow up, which takes forever. So, no projectile options. He can definitely get outranged by the projectile heavy characters, but that's really the only downside there is to Kratos. He's fast, he's strong, he's got decent combo potential. I haven't really been pulling off a lot of sweet combos with him, because I don't really know every character that well, and I don't really like using Kratos that much because he's so broken. But yeah, up next, Haihachi from Tekken, Cole from Infamous, and Raiden from Metal Gear. Yeah, there was quite a shitstorm when they said Raiden was going to be in the game, because a lot of people were expecting Solid Snake to be in, and then they get Raiden, it's like the Metal Gear Solid 2 thing all over again. And that didn't go over so well with the public the first time. But yeah, I don't really mind that Snake isn't in this game, because he's in Smash Brothers already. Alright, oh crap. Hihachi got me with some sort of ice missile. No, that's not one of Hihachi's moves. That's an item, because like Smash Brothers, this game has items. Most of them aren't really all that recognizable, though. I mean, look at that axe there. Where the hell is that from? I have no idea. Doesn't... I don't think that's been in any game I've ever played. And Hihachi just kind of up a beach ball. Also, that's a rocket launcher. Apparently, that's from Uncharted, but that could just be from any first-person shooter game or something. Anyway, burst out Kratos' is level 3, which is his god mode from God of War 2. And snag 3 easy quick kills and win. So yeah, that's basically how this game is played. Up next we have... Oh, the rival match! We get a little cutscene, and then it's a one-on-one -on -one fight with a fairly tough opponent, I'm guessing. So, who would Kratos' rival be? Well, we're about to find out because he's walking somewhere. Another demon sent by this so-called god. He can join the rest. I 
my ice cream cone. That was a mistake, buddy. A mistake I can correct, if you like. Maybe you didn't hear me, friend. There's a debt here, and I'm ready to settle up. Stand aside. Pick that up and pay for it. The ghost of Sparta bends to no mortal. All right, so Kratos' rival is Sweet Tooth. Holy shit, he looks completely different there. Much scarier, and the regular Sweet Tooth is scary as fuck. Damn. But yes, yeah, Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal is Kratos' rival. And rivalries are mutual, so when I'll be doing the Sweet Tooth playthrough, Kratos will be the rival. And most of the rivalries kind of make sense. I guess there are a couple that are just kind of raise a lot of questions. But most of them work, and most of the cutscenes are funny enough. Anyway, Sweet Tooth. Probably pretty challenging opponent. He's not really a combo character per se. Hell, I don't think he can do combo to save his life, but he has lots of hard-hitting moves that build up your meter pretty fast. Because as you can see in the bottom of the screen, every time you land a hit, you get a little number, which is basically how many attack points you earn. And basically the supers all have a standard amount of points you need. Oh, come on. How did that not get him? I thought that tornado was going to be a lot bigger. It was freaking huge in God of War 3. I call shenanigans. You know, I do like that they really replicated Kratos' trademark moves. Oh, nice. Sucker, got him really good there. He's got, like, all of his weapons and stuff. Of course, the blades. It's pretty much the same moves he does in the games as well. If you do square, square, triangle, he'll do that, which is exactly what he does in the games. So that's cool. He can throw people. He's got the combat grapple from God of War 3. He's got pretty much from every... Well, not really every God of War game. I wouldn't say there's any representation from Chains of Olympus. It's mainly God of War 3 with a little bit of 2 and a little bit of Ghost of Sparta in there. Because you can see the, uh, the spear and shield, which was from Ghost of Sparta. The hammer is from 2, and for the last, he pretty much has the bow of Apollo, the Helios head, the uh, Hermes boots... And the Cestus. See that hammer? That's from God of War 2. Oh, shit. Landmine got me. He's not really pulling out a lot of supers on his own, though. Come on, Sweet Tooth. Step it up a little. Also, if you're wondering what's up with Sweet Tooth's weird appearance, he's actually based on a model from Starhawk. Because in Starhawk, there is, you know, with the, uh, the scab enemies, there's one in the multiplayer that looks like Sweet Tooth. You got that one as a... Uh, I think if you have a Twisted Metal save file on your PS3 when you play Starhawk or something. So that's a nice little crossover shout-out thing there. Anyway, Tornado, he's right above me. Perfect setup for that. Alright, one more kill. Ah, I hate his landmines, though. They pretty much stay there forever. Until he puts down another one or it's destroyed. Also, another thing that you do have in this game that you don't really... Well, I guess you have the shield, but in this game you can block pretty much anything without really any consequences. Oh! Ah, then damn it, landmine. Come on, Sweet Tooth, you bastard. You're going down. Sweet Tooth is one creepy-ass clown. And, like, Sweet Tooth, how he's portrayed in this game is absolutely nothing what he's like in the Twisted Metal games because he's even more... He's even scarier, even more... Twisted, even more creepy. I'm pretty sure he kills his own daughter or something in Twisted Metal's story and everything. He does some horrible, horrible stuff. Oh, nice. Helio's head has quite some range. Oh, there we go. Nailed him. And now he's sad. And Kratos is... Well, Kratos is never happy. He's just less angry. And now, final boss time. I have no clue what this final boss is or what it's supposed to be. Apparently it's from some sort of, like an, a really early PlayStation 1 commercial, which I don't think I've ever seen. I, th I guess this guy was supposed to be PlayStation's mascot or something, but they dropped him. And then in this game he's back for revenge by trying to kill all the current PlayStation mascots. And characters like Big Daddy and Raiden who have absolutely no 
place with the rest of the PlayStation mascots because they are not PlayStation mascots. I mean, Big Daddy was on Xbox first, for fuck's sake. Anyway, meet Polygon Man. That's his actual name. And yes, it is kind of suspicious that he has the same color and kind of same design-ish as the uh, the generic Polygon team enemies in the original Super Smash Brothers. They were purple. They were kind of crappy looking versions of all the other characters. So, I'm guessing they just took a really good look at Smash Brothers for this one. Anyway, fighting Parappa the Rapper, or at least his evil purple clone. I don't like Parappa. I think he's pretty stupid. Anyway, on the boss stage, he will pretty much get all the stage hazards from the other stages in the background. And this is from one of the God of War stages, the Hydra from God of War 1. It's one of the worst stage hazards to have against you because this thing is all over the place. Oh, nice. Didn't even know that was a combo. Down throw into level 2, apparently a pretty good kill confirm. Anyway, once you've killed the character, he'll try and crush you and do absolutely nothing, and then you can just hit him until he flies back into the background. And then you get two characters, in this case, Fat Princess, which is a really dumb addition to the roster in my opinion. And Sly Coop, ooh, double kill with a level 1. Genius. Oh, not gonna get me. And then we just smack him around a little. For some reason, he will always hit you when he flies away. I'm not sure if that's in supposed to happen or not. And then once you've killed the two characters, all characters will come back for one final try in taking you out. You can actually lose this battle if you get killed four times. Which, really, you'd think would happen a lot. But for some reason, the AI in this fight is not particularly competent. And it's not because of the difficulty. You saw at the beginning, I selected the middle one. Because on the hardest one, the characters are freaking impossible to fight. And in the lowest one, they're obviously insanely easy. So this is the fairest option. Also, I'm not sure what the hell that watermelon bomb thing that I picked up was. But it sure as hell is good. Alright, here he comes again. And now I'm on top of him for some reason. And smack him around a little, and we win. So that's basically the standard arcade mode of PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. And then he'll speak some stuff and he'll blow up, and Kratos will absorb his energy. And become even more powerful than he already is. Because Kratos is totally not an overpowered character already. And I guess now Kratos is the champion of the PlayStation universe or something. And advance. Q. The ending cutscene, credits, you know the drill. Once again, those foolish enough to stand against me have learned the folly of such actions. My destiny lies not with mortals. I must topple Olympus and all who occupy it once and for all. Titans! The son of Zeus has returned! Our hour is at hand, and we march now upon the gods! No creature sent from Earth, Olympus, or Hades itself can withstand our assault. And to Zeus, and the Cretans who kneel at his feet, I bring an army unlike any you have fought before. The ghost of Sparta brings ruin to Olympus. He sure does. Thanks for watching, and in the description there's a link to a poll for the character that's going to be in the second episode, so don't forget to vote for which character you want to see next. Thanks for watching, bye bye.